Hey, if you're a physiotherapist, a dentist, or you own a healthcare practice, and you're struggling to get new patients, you're busy, but your team are quiet, and your practice is too dependent on you, then I've got something very special for you guys. Check out this link below. I'm Tristan Bond, and I work with healthcare practice owners every day. And more and more I'm hearing things like, it's getting harder to get new patients. There's more competition than ever before, and even word of mouth is not as reliable as it once was. Here's the problem. Marketing and private practice healthcare, it has changed. Let me explain. If you're not getting enough new patients to fill your team, then what happens is they sit idle while you do all the patient work. If you're relying on word of mouth, then you've got literally no control over your business. Your business is literally in the hands of someone else, and that's incredibly risky and stressful. And if the actual referrals that you do get, they wanna see you and not your team, then what that means is that you spend the bulk of your time working in your practice and not on it, so things get worse, not better. The problem is that the old way of marketing, it's actually designed to give you a job at best, to handcuff you. It won't serve you to build a meaningful business that gives you the freedom that you want. By the way, if you can relate to any or even all of these, then click the link below and check out our case studies on our website. When I first met Grant, he's a physiotherapist from Sydney, he was really frustrated because he was struggling to get new patients that wanted to see his team. Personally, he was booked out weeks in advance, but his team, they had quiet books almost all of the time. So he was working harder in the business, harder and harder to keep it going, service the demand, but his business was actually getting more and more out of his control. He tried the obvious thing of putting his patients onto his team, but when he tried transferring his patients from his list to theirs, they inevitably ended up back on his diary the very next week. He tried newsletters to his patients, newspaper ads, even sponsorships, regular letters to his referrers, plus hosting lunches, and of course, hoping his staff would build up a word of mouth following, but literally none of it was working. He was burnt out, he was stressed, because the traditional ways of marketing were indeed failing him. He needed a new way to get new patients consistently to grow his business so he could personally cut back, but nothing was working. That's when he approached me and my team as a private client, and all we had to do was tweak one small thing, and as a result, he was able to reduce his clinical load by 15 hours per week. With this new method in place, he could break free from the handcuffs and finally build a business, one that gave him lifestyle freedom. Now he takes time out whenever he wants with the knowledge that his business will grow whilst he's away. Hey guys, I already asked you to do this two times already, but if you haven't done it yet and you've watched this far, then you should really check out the case studies on my website, the link is below. If you wanna get new patients every day, patients that are happy to see everyone on your team, and to do it in a way that is time effective and predictable, then you need a new marketing framework. This is what we tweaked with Grant. The first key is your marketing message. Now message is about what you say in your marketing and you need to talk to your audience's problems in your message. It's not about you, it is about them. Forget your credentials and focus on your audience. Focus on helping your audience in your marketing content. The second key is your marketing rhythm. When and how often you say it. Rhythm is about the right frequency and consistency so that you get more new patients every day. Your marketing communication, it's gotta be consistent, it's also gotta be valuable, and of course, not just offers based. If you don't offer value in your content, then running promotions will never work for you. And the third key, is the right marketing platform. That's all about where you actually say it. Now, I love word of mouth referrals, and perhaps you do too, but networking and chasing referrals, gotta be honest, it feels a bit salesy to me, plus it's exhausting, it's not scalable. Choose platforms that allow you to reach a larger audience without giving up any of your time. Grant loves Facebook, Instagram, and email. In fact, in his first email campaign, he generated 24 new patients in just three days. Now, I'm not promising that that's gonna happen for you. Grant's a great guy, his audience love him, so his message really pops 
when he promotes his marketing content. My point is this, unless you have a strategy that conveys your marketing message to your ideal audience every day without having to give up your personal time, then you'll only ever build a job for yourself, not a business. And you'll burn out and your team will leave whilst you're still there stuck, handcuffed to the business. Now it's not your fault if you've marketed like this. It's what most people do and you are not taught otherwise. But if you do want to build a practice, one that doesn't depend on you and you alone, then remember, marketing has changed and you need to as well. Hey, we're getting to the end of my video and the only kind of people who watch this, who watch to this point, are the people who this video is for. It's exactly for people like you, otherwise you wouldn't have watched it this far. Now if you haven't clicked yet, I don't know what's stopping you. Because if you're struggling to get new patients, if you're working in your clinic so much that you can't get on top of your business, and if your practice is too dependent on you, then these case study videos will show you exactly how to solve those problems. So click the link, check out my website, and start solving them. I hope you found this video really helpful.